Hi all, in this video, let's discuss about pure functions in JavaScript. What rules we have to make a function to be working as a pure function and what all the side effects we have to make a function as impure function and what all the benefits of pure functions and what all the real time use case of pure function. So let's jump in. So what all the rules we have to make a normal function to be as a pure function. So the first rule is a function should always return and same output if the same arguments are passed in to that function. So this is the first rule. And the second rule is the function does not produce any of the side effects. So hold on on the side effects. Let's discuss what all the side effects. So the function should not have any side effects. So let's discuss first. So these two rules should we need to have to make a function as a pure function. So let's discuss what all the side effects so what does this side effects mean? This is not a negative word side effect means. So a function which should not have communicated with the outside world. Those are called as a pure functions. So side effects in sense, a function should not call an API call because if you call an API call, what does it mean? You're expecting some output or some response from that API means the API or response. It means you are dependent upon a outside world, a function which manipulates or uses outside scope va variables or values, or if it manipulates the DOM, if it uh, random randomly, if it uh, generates any numbers, and if it prints manipulate the data, all these comes under the side effects. A function which does all these operations comes under impure function. So that's the reason we have a rule of a pure function should no should not have no side effects. A function which does not have all these type will become a pure function. So in real world, we should not think that these side effects mean mean a bad thing. In a real world, without these side effects, we can't really make an uh, useful interactive application. All these are also needed. So here we are discussing what are the pure functions and should not have a side effects. So let's see them with an example. So this function is a pure function because it has two parameters. And whenever I send the same input, same input, it produces the same output. So that's, that's all about a pure function. It means a simple pure function. I'm not making the concept complicated just with a simple example, this is the pure function. We might have knowingly or unknowingly, we might have written pure functions in our applications. So the reason he, he is it, it needs to pick two arguments and whenever it is sending the same arguments, the output should be written the same. So this is the first rule. And the second rule, it is not using any of the side effects. No side effects are produced in this function. So that's the reason this function became an pure function. So what does this function is, why does this function become impure function? Because this function is using an outside world variable. So here A is the variable which was defined outside the scope. So it is trying to use or manipulate or modify that value. So in short, I'm trying to define this impure function like this. So here the side effect is, it is trying to use a variable outside the scope. Here, if you do any of the API calls or DOM manipulations, those are, are considered as side effects. So that makes this function as impure. So, okay, that's fine. So what are the advantages we got? So we have uh, discussed what is a pure function now. So now what are the benefits we are getting with making the function as a pure function? As a function is easy to test and easy to refactor, it is predictable at any point of time. So that's the reason a pure function is easy to test and easy to refactor. We can determine its state at any point of time. So that's the main uh, benefit we are going to get with the pure function. Also with memoization, we can use memoization technique such that we can improve the pure functions uh, in function result such that uh, we can uh, give the result as on when. Uh, the, if we are getting the same input, instead of manipulating again, instead of uh, working again, we can store that same uh, result and we can uh, return back the same result. If you get the same input, we can result the same output. 
so that is a memoization technique i have done a video on this memoization in javascript i will keep that in the end cards as well please check that one also so coming to the use case what are the use cases we have in the real world uh, you might have heard about react js uh, react js is a uh, familiar library javascript uh, famous library these days so it uses redux design pattern to maintain its state in this redux design pattern you may you have actions reducers and stores there would be three components in redux design pattern where the reducers are pure functions it takes here if you can see the example this function takes state and action as two parameters and it gives the new state as a output so it will not manipulate the existing state it will return the new state based upon the existing current state and the action which we are providing this example is reducers so this is the real time example we use and this is a pure function every time so that's all of uh, about the pure functions so hope you understand the video thanks for watching